if we just did some more No Man's Sky over on the Nintendo Switch? We're here. We've got Sentinels in the area checking us out. And uh, yeah, let's. Uh, we're on the. We're continuing the quest from where we left off. We we trace some signal here, mysterious signal. Let's also play our life and uh, charge up our life support. I switched my buttons around to default, so hopefully that doesn't throw me off too much here. I would like to uh, collect this oxygen from this plant, but that's not happening. Uh, so when we when we get here, we have the option for a target sweep. And so it kind of gives you a clue towards what way we need to advance to find our next portion of our quest. So it looks like we've got to head this way. So we'll just, uh, we should be okay. Even though our, our support, health support is, our shields are dipping pretty quickly. It says it's pretty close. So we'll just continue this way till we find it. We get the sodium along the way. We do have stuff to charge things up. And uh, see if we can figure out what uh, what it's directing us to. Oh, over here. All right. And it's uh, this device here. This machinery. Uh, broken technology. Let's take a look. All right. Uh, we've got sparking wires of the machine generate a signal tapping out and broadcast into the void. Whoever left the message is gone. Let's decipher the signal. Unless I hit the button to... Okay, th so the buttons might be switched. I might have backed out of the signal. Let's give this another shot. And this time we're deciphering the signal. Yes, decoding. 16, 16, 16. Entry. 4925C. No fuel and sh failed to reach station. Hazard protection low. No choice but to ksh underground ksh deployed base computer. As well as the log entry, the signal contains plans for a base computer and a terrain manipulator. With any luck, the base computer will hold more information about whoever is leaving these messages. Let's extract the plans. All right. So, uh, we've got the base computer plans now, and a terrain manipulator technology, and we will be getting those going very soon here. I do like to hit these save points. You do get nav data, which is going to be handy later on when we're expanding our inventory. It's also great for finding some locations on planets, and we'll talk about that when we use them. Uh, let's get back to our ship, which is this way. Uh, wants us to recharge the mining beam. We're going to kind of get back to our ship first. So a little more comfortable with where we're at. We'll get that free shield boost charged up without having to spend materials. Hopefully we're almost there. Yeah, not a lot of movement uh, help here in the beginning. So let's get right in there just in time. And so while that's charging up, we can go into our multi-tool and we can take a look at installing some tech. We just learned the terrain manipulator. It's an advanced terraforming device. This module overloads existing multi-tool systems, allowing the user to reshape regions as they wish. So, oh, uh, again, uh, switching the controls was probably a bad idea now. And uh, here we go with the dihydrogen jelly. Then we need two nanotubes. Let's get those made. And uh, we're going to need some carbon. So it might be a little bit of a challenge with this. Uh, uh, with these sentinels hanging around here. We do need to charge up our mining beam. So let's kind of, uh, we're testing our, the vision of the, uh, <laughs> the sentinels hanging around us. And uh, I think they're just far enough away from us. We're okay. Okay. So the, some of these are visual here and not actually, uh, collectible. All right. 
So we'll get this carbon. Uh, I see a, a murder plan over here. We'll go ahead and collect that. So carbon. We're gonna need that for the nanotubes and charging our, our devices for the mining beam. It never ends. You need all this stuff all the time. Okay, let's see if we've got enough here. On our way back to the ship, we'll, uh... Here we go, some carbon crystal right next to us. Charge up our mining beam and get this crystal right here. It is uh, concentrated, but uh, it, we'll still make use of it. And uh, loot these containers. Okay, I'm hitting the wrong buttons. Okay, that's what I get for switching them. I'll probably switch them back. <laughs> okay. Let's get in the ship. The Radiant Pillar. And again, you can rename everything. So let's, let's start renaming some things. Uh, let's start with... Oops, hold the confirm disabled. So that'll it'll make picking things quicker. Uh, let's rename our ship to start. And I do have a keyboard connected to my switch to make this a little bit easier. This will be Red Vines 1. That is a tradition of mine to name the first ship Red Vines 1. Um, all right. And uh, let's make those nanotubes now. We cannot. Um, because... Were we not collecting carbon? Oh, we used it to charge back up. So everything we're collecting, we're using to charge. All right, we'll get more carbon. It's as simple as that. And what were these? Oh, this is, something was carbon there. Ferrite dust, let's stick to carbon. I'm just surprised that these are like no dice. Oxygen, carbon, ferrite, a lot of it mining right in the beginning is uh, very handy. Got some critters here. We'll get them scanned up. I've got sentinels on my case. And let's get up to that. Uh, Maybe pushing it a little bit too close here on our uh, hazard protection. I do like to try to conserve materials. Maybe a little bit to my detriment. All right, let's uh, try making those uh, tubes. Not build more because we need a little more carbon still. Okay, we just need a lot of carbon. That's all there is to it. Oh, hello. And let's charge up our shields. And we'll go after the sodium because we're using materials to charge up shields. Let's charge up our life support. This planet's a little rough. And this is registering as carbon. We'll grab this. So that should give us enough nanotubes, uh, enough carbon for nanotubes. So let's get that crafted. Do, 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 do. And so I can hover over this and do a quick craft right on top of that. Okay, 
can't help it. There's all this dihydrogen here. I know we're going to use it, so I'm just going to collect it. I need to be better with uh, not letting my mining beam overload. That is a bad habit of mine. I know better. I just, uh, I get lazy and just hold the button down. Like right there, I can let up and it drops back down really fast if you uh, give it a second there. It's way faster than if you let it overheat, so. Let's go to the multi-tool. We're going to charge this up now. Our um, dihydrogen is installed. Let's install more tech. Tubes are in. We now have a terrain manipulator. Uh, now they want us to get copper. So let's see if we can find copper here. Yeah, let's see if we scan some birds. Or flying critters. There's copper this way. We are going to fly to it. 400 in this uh, extreme environment here is a little bit rough. Uh, launch and fuel launch. Okay, let's see what we got for fuel. We might need to work on that first. Okay, so we're going to need to make launch fuel. So to make that, uh, metal plating. And then, oh, I'm hitting the wrong thing. Here we go, we got a couple launch fuels. And let's charge it up. There we go, now we're good. All right, got some. It's nighttime. We can see the load in here. It's right next to us. Let's drop down and load up on copper. So we can switch to that terrain manipulator. We've got sentinels all over the area. I'm hoping kind of dips out here. Now, with mining resources, uh, you do that have the option to do the left and right bumper, which will change the size of the reticle. If you do it bigger, you'll mine the stuff faster, but you'll get less materials. If you make the, the little ball, you can see the ball's smaller because I'm, I'm left bumpering. If I'm right bumpering, it gets a little bit bigger. So there's a few different sizes. The smaller lets you get more materials. The larger lets you get uh, farm it a lot faster, but you, it'll be at a reduced volume so you'll get less stuff but it'll happen faster so it's a it's kind of a give and take so i think we'll get enough out of this with the large so we'll just scoop it up with the large reticle i think there were some creatures near us squeaking tiny little creature here i want to go look at it that is wild that is a little little, little creature Look at that tiny little thing. Okay, then. This guy's around. Now, those guys sometimes are aggressive, but... Alright, so we are harvest or mining up this copper with our terrain manipulator that is now installed. We also got the base computer, so this is uh, getting us one step closer to being, uh, being able to craft that. That is that. That should be enough. So we're going to hop in here for a moment. And uh, so we need to make chromatic metal. We're going to jump back out and make our portable refiner. And we'll take our uh, condensed carbon for the fuel and we'll get our copper. 
into the refiner and make that chromatic metal. While that's happening, we'll do some looting and get some more. Nope, we won't do no such thing. I was kidding. The Sentinels are pretty present here on this planet. It's making it a little bit challenging, and you, you will run into that. They will frustrate you from time to time. Uh, depending on their aggression level, uh, you can find that information on the Discoveries tab of that page. Uh, it does say Sentinels are observant. Uh, so if I did enough mining, they probably would uh, um, go aggressive on us. But if they kind of catch you and you let up and stop for a minute, you should be all right. Oh, we got to charge up our shield. Again, I'm just filling some time, getting some materials we need while we're making that chromatic metal. And we're definitely not making our base on this planet. That's a guarantee for me. So let's head back. It should be enough. Beautiful. Let's stop processing. Oh, let's not hit the wrong button. We're going to stop this processing. And back up and we can just pick it up. It'll give us everything in there. And now it's saying base computer, but we are going to take this elsewhere. And uh, before we do that, I do want to oops, uh, take a look at some games I have installed on my Switch. Before we do that, I wanted to uh, let's name this planet. Um, Okay, so let's see. Um, that's the wrong keyboard. So we'll get up here. And uh, we'll name this one Hot Toddy. And we do get nanites for doing that, which is a, a, a benefit of that. And we'll also... Oops. I also wanted to name the system, unless I already messed that up. It looks like I, uh, oh, somebody else discovered this. Okay, how does that work? Okay, so it's still tied in, even though it's not multiplayer, it's still tied into all of the planets that uh, everybody else plays on, or maybe other Switch users, because that's interesting. Very curious. Okay, interesting. And this must have been the starting planet because um, it's the only one that we have in our list. So, all right. Curious. Let's see what other planets we have up here. Starbolt, copper, paraffinium. It's a temperate planet. You know what? I think we're going to go there. A temperate planet with copper, paraffinium, and silver. And we'll, we'll need a lot of silver, so that might not be a bad base location. Uh, silver, later on, I would recommend you holding on to the silver that you do get. Uh, the reason I say that is when you do get a freighter, which might be a little ways off from the beginning of the game, when you do get your first freighter, uh, it does give you the option to build a lot of the the building on the freighter to build your base uses a lot of silver so i tend to keep that stash it till uh we start building with our freighter you can always go far more but uh that's uh that's just something i keep in mind when i'm out and about in the beginning of the game all right let's uh resituate here on the whoa that might be water this is land mass maybe Looks like it might be kind of purplish with red water, orange light, purple. Hmm. Let's see. All right. And right next to uh, 
this station here would not be a bad spot for a base. Let's see what we think about this planet. We're going to land over here. I'm not sure about the colors, but looks more kind of blue and yellow with red water. Strange. Let's get out and see what it looks like. And what do we know? Sentinels are observant, so that's not too bad. And, um... You know, we're, we're going to go with it. If anything, this will be our near, our first uh, a place for our first base. And so... There's some place kind of flattish. Looking around, debating here. Oh, apparently I put it here. Okay. Well, I can I can delete it. All right. Where do I want this? Let's take a look around. Oh wow, what are these? Oh, like strider type things. Okay. Yeah, I, th this game with Discovery is... Wow, this planet is a strange color set up here with this super red water, with this lighting right now. Hopefully those aren't aggressive. Let's see, they're skittish. I think we'll stick up here. This blue grass at this dusk looks beautiful. Okay, maybe things are like kind of loading in a little bit better, but I'm okay with this. Let's, uh, we might find a better place on this planet later on, but for now we've got our, we've got our base location. Let me hit the right buttons and we'll get in here. Universal Archive Search reveals no prior claims in this site. Are we going to claim it? We sure are. And it's right next to a planetary archive. So we'll, uh, we'll have that right next to us. We can, uh, which, which means we'll have a vendor there and, uh, other ships flying in. We might see an exotic ship or something at some point to buy. But let's interact with this computer. Accessing log from previous user. Entry 4925D follows. Storm sweeping across, but construction supplies low, ellipses. Depositing shelter plans while need to back soon. All right, we extract plans and learn how to build. All right. So we'll, uh, let's see where we want to do that at. A little space up here, I suppose. Or just right here. Let's just build it here for now. We'll scan some critters. I think, I, I'm really warming up to this, uh, this planet. This is, uh, this is a pretty decent find for our first base. I'll keep it pretty simple here for the first one. We'll just do a little two by three. Uh, cycle part. I did not want that there, so. I, I get a little messed up with the uh, building for some reason. I'm still trying to get used to 
this system. All right, so let's go. We, we need some doors. I need it to snap. So build, toggle free placement. There's snaps. So it was in free place mode. We are now snappy. I need a wall going above it. And I need some ceiling roof. We'll go with flat roof. And we are out of stuff. Okay. I uh, doesn't recognize that as protection. So let's go hop in here real quick. We got a storm going on. I'll take a little sip of coffee here. So we're going to need to get some more carbon so that we can continue building our little base. Um, might, uh, let's just jump out and use some stuff to charge up. And we'll switch to collecting some stuff. Hopefully the sentinels leave us alone. A roof and some walls and we'll be all right. And uh, it is guiding us to talk to the base computer, but I do want to finish up my six or two by two by three. So we'll get that done. That's ferrite dust. There's carbon. If we analyze, maybe get some more stuff. Looks like we analyzed the rock. It's fine. We'll worry about that later. Uh, we need to take an extreme heat here. So the storm's a little rough here. So with this being our base planet, we're going to want to make sure that we uh, get some thermal protection for our suit when we can. All right. The storm's clearing. I'll take that. And yeah, over time we'll we'll hook up on batteries and life support gel so we have an easier time charging and I quit having to do the jump in the ship thing. We'll just have stuff to take care of it. But it takes a little bit to build up to that. Man, I'm I'm liking the color scheme here. All right, let's get this little base built as far as I'm concerned where we should probably have enough for it. And some more walls. Oh man, we're burning through this stuff really quick. Okay, we need to more. We're gonna have to farm more, and that's just uh, that's just part of this. There's plenty of materials around. And the sentinels are a little, a little much right now. Let's not zap this guy. I don't think we want to pick a fight with this Strider thing. scan this let's get the bonus materials as well yeah condensed carbon with it too we'll take it beautiful colors on this planet are pretty great. When we first landed here, I wasn't so sure, but now I'm really liking it.
Let's uh, charge up our life. Beautiful. These trees look cool. Alright. Hopefully we got enough here. Get some oxygen from this thing. Apparently you can uh, harvest these bulbs if you get close enough. Without taking the gas hit. We got the setting out thing is in our way from harvesting. I think I got two of the three. There we got three pods. We took some damage from it, but uh, we're able to ha harvest a bunch of oxygen. There's pods next to these things. If you can get close enough without getting damaged, you get quite a bit of oxygen from them. Apparently you can do it with the uh, the ones that clamp down, the smaller short ones, but uh, they're a little bit more challenging to get without getting snapped. So uh, let's get back up to our little base, which is right over here. And we got some oxygen right here. We'll take that as well. Can't be mad about that. Let's do the roof first. Uh, let's hit the right button. Timber roof. Beautiful. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Timber walls. There we go. Beautiful. All right, let's uh, let's commune with this base computer. I think we've got this selected. And um, accessing log from previous user. Additional archives recovered. Entry 4925E follows. Construction largely a success. Recovered salvage data from nearby. Plans logged. Scans indicate additional subterranean devices. B beginning search. Let's extract plans. Whoever recorded these logs eventually had some success. Evidently. I have access to their plans and perhaps I can learn from their efforts. All right. So we get that research unit. So that means we'll be digging up some salvage data. And so to make this, we need what? What's missing? Uh, we need nanotubes and magnetized ferrite. And we will get that next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content, make sure you're following the channel. Subscribe to the channel and uh, thumbs up on the video. Thumbs down if you hated it completely and, and watched it this far. <laughs> but uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one. See you next time.